talking revolution. No, technical down. revolution. But when society breaks down, then they'll want to do it a different way. I'm sorry about that, but it seems that conditions were so abusive in some lands that they put in socialism, communism, whatever, or fascism, that fits the conditions that people live under. None of them are the solution. All governments, all through history, have been corrupt. You must know that people look at your concepts. Yes, I and, and with utmost respect, Chuck, they will say, you're a crazy old man. I understand that. This is not unusual. Every move from women's rights to child labor were fought with battles all the time. No new system ever came in smoothly. Man is the dumbest animal. He pollutes the air, ocean, the air, the rivers, the atmosphere, and people. They put himself on a pedestal, say we're the highest form of life. That's an ego trip. They're not. We're not civilized yet. As long as you have prisons, police, armies, navies, we are not civilized. Until the world learns to live together constructively, that'll be the beginning of the scientific age. We're not there yet. You look at you now, I mean, you're touring around, you're talking to people. Yes. And you're 94 years old. Yes. You haven't got anything better to do? No, not now. I'm afraid of the direction that man is taking. We, we have bombs now that are like a thousand times greater than one dropped on Hiroshima. How stupid can you be? What can you accomplish with that? The United States has 300 submarines, and according to the Navy, each one has more destructive power than all the wars in history. What are you going to accomplish with that? A burnt out radioactive planet? You won the war? What do you win? It's much easier to bring the nations of the world together, not kill those that don't agree with you, bring them together. I do all I can do, rather than fear death, I don't fear death, I fear where man is going. The hell they can produce is unbelievable because of human, not really human stupidity, they're not educated in our schools. If I took every soldier, I would educate them to be problem solvers, not killing machines.